Metaphysical concepts proven through science refers to the idea that certain philosophical or spiritual beliefs can be validated using scientific methods and discoveries. Proponents of this view argue that recent advances in quantum physics, neuroscience, and cosmology provide evidence for metaphysical concepts such as consciousness, free will, and the nature of reality. Some researchers point to quantum entanglement as potential proof of interconnectedness on a universal scale, supporting metaphysical ideas about the unity of all things. Studies on near-death experiences and altered states of consciousness are sometimes cited as scientific evidence for the existence of non-physical aspects of human experience. Supporters of this theory often reference the observer effect in quantum mechanics as proof that consciousness plays a fundamental role in shaping reality. Some scientists and philosophers argue that the fine-tuning of universal constants necessary for life suggests a purposeful design, potentially validating metaphysical concepts of a higher power or intelligence. While controversial in mainstream scientific circles, the idea that metaphysical concepts can be proven through science continues to intrigue those seeking to bridge the gap between spiritual beliefs and empirical research. Michigan Blue Hell refers to a supposed paranormal location in Michigan's forests. Believers describe it as an ethereal blue-tinted underworld where strange phenomena occur. Reports include sightings of spectral figures, time distortions, and eerie atmospheric changes. Some link it to ley lines, hypothetical energy channels connecting significant sites globally. The blue glow reported could potentially be explained by bioluminescent fungi or methane gas emissions. Electronic malfunctions and unusual animal behavior in the area lend credence to claims of paranormal activity. Microchips found in fossils refers to a controversial claim that advanced technology has been discovered embedded within ancient rock formations. Proponents of this theory point to alleged finds of small metallic or crystalline objects with complex internal structures inside prehistoric remains. These purported discoveries challenge conventional timelines of technological development and suggest the possibility of highly advanced ancient civilizations or even extraterrestrial visitation. Some researchers claim to have found microscopic structures in fossils that resemble modern integrated circuits, complete with what appear to be tiny wires and semiconductors. Advocates argue that the complexity and precision of these alleged microstructures are beyond the capabilities of natural geological processes. The idea gained traction in some circles after images circulated online showing what looked like circuit-like patterns in cross-sections of rocks claimed to be millions of years old. Skeptics argue that these findings are likely misidentifications of natural mineral formations or contamination from modern sources during the excavation or analysis process. Believers in the theory suggest that mainstream science may be suppressing or ignoring evidence that could fundamentally alter our understanding of human history and technological progress. Some proponents speculate that if genuine, such discoveries could indicate the cyclical nature of civilizations, with advanced societies rising and falling multiple times throughout Earth's history. The concept ties into broader alternative theories about out-of-place artifacts and lost ancient knowledge, proposing that humanity's technological capabilities may have fluctuated dramatically over time. The millennial reign refers to a theory that Jesus Christ already returned and ruled on Earth for 1,000 years during what we know as the Dark Ages. This theory proposes that the Tartarian Empire was actually Christ's kingdom during this millennial reign. Proponents point to Jesus' statements that he would return soon and was at the door, arguing this suggests he wouldn't wait over 2,000 years to come back. They also cite scripture saying, Every eye shall see him, and those that pierced him, interpreting this to mean Jesus returned within the generation that witnessed his crucifixion. According to this view, after the 1,000-year reign ended, Satan was allowed to return and rule for a season as prophesied. Believers in this theory claim evidence of Christ's reign was hidden or destroyed, and we've been living in Satan's short season ever since. Some adherents point to dates on Tartarian buildings that appear to have had a 1 added to them as evidence that 1,000 years were artificially added to our calendar to cover up this history. The idea frames the Dark Ages as actually being the prosperous millennial reign, 
positioning modern times as the deceptive era that followed. Mind over body refers to the concept that mental processes can influence physical states and even alter bodily functions. Proponents argue that through focused thought and willpower, individuals can control various aspects of their physiology. Some practitioners claim to achieve feats like regulating body temperature, heart rate, or even healing injuries through mental techniques. Research in psychoneuroimmunology has shown connections between mental states and immune system function, lending some credence to mind-body interactions. The placebo effect, where belief in a treatment leads to measurable physical improvements, is often cited as evidence for the mind's power over the body. Meditation and mindfulness practices have been associated with changes in brain structure and function, suggesting a tangible link between mental focus and physical processes. Some studies indicate that visualization techniques used by athletes can lead to improved physical performance, implying a direct mental influence on muscular activity. Experiments with biofeedback have demonstrated that people can learn to consciously control certain involuntary bodily processes through mental focus. Practitioners of certain yoga disciplines claim to achieve extraordinary bodily control, such as slowing heart rate or surviving extreme cold, through mental mastery. While many mainstream scientists remain skeptical, ongoing research in fields like neuroscience and psychophysiology continues to explore the extent of the mind's influence over the body. Minecraft's enigmatic origins refers to alternative theories about the true creators of the immensely popular sandbox game. Some believe that Minecraft was actually built by humans from the future, using advanced knowledge to shape our society. Proponents point to the game's seemingly prescient features, and its profound cultural impact, as evidence of futuristic origins. The theory suggests that future humans designed Minecraft as a subtle tool for social engineering, preparing current humanity for upcoming challenges. Advocates argue that the game's emphasis on resource management, creativity, and collaborative building serves a greater purpose beyond mere entertainment. The procedurally generated worlds are seen by some as evidence of computational power beyond our current capabilities. Regular updates to the game are viewed as carefully timed releases of pre-existing content, guided by future knowledge of optimal societal impact. Another theory proposes that Minecraft was autonomously generated by an advanced AI system, rather than human developers. Supporters of this idea argue that the game's complexity and variety in procedurally generated worlds surpass human design capabilities. The unique blend of simplicity and depth in Minecraft's gameplay is cited as evidence of an optimized, inhuman design process. Some believers claim that hidden patterns or structures within the game's code reveal non-human origins, potentially containing encrypted messages. Regular updates are interpreted as the AI refining its creation based on player data and behavior, continuously evolving the game experience. Proponents argue that Minecraft's massive success demonstrates an AI's superior understanding of human psychology and gameplay preferences. Both theories challenge the official narrative of Minecraft's development and suggest a more complex origin for the influential game. Marl cults refers to online groups that transition into real-life meetings with cult-like behaviors and shared beliefs. These groups often originate on web forums, social media platforms, or dedicated websites before evolving into physical gatherings. The internet's global reach allows for a broad recruitment base, connecting individuals who feel isolated or misunderstood. One documented case involved a group formed around a self-proclaimed spiritual guru on a web forum, which progressed to in-person group meditations and ceremonies. Another instance centered on a UFO-focused online community that communicated via encrypted emails before meeting in a remote location to prepare for an alleged extraterrestrial arrival. The anonymity offered by the internet enables people to express unconventional beliefs without fear of judgment, facilitating the formation of these groups. Shared experiences, particularly intense or unusual ones, can create strong bonds between individuals, contributing to the cult-like devotion observed in some Merle groups. Not all Merle cults are necessarily harmful. Some may simply be communities of individuals with shared interests choosing to gather in person. Sociological and psychological studies support the idea that periods of social or personal crisis 
can contribute to the emergence of such groups. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. The left link takes you to more clips like this. The right link takes you to the full episodes these are from. Thanks for watching.